In this video, we will learn about Padlet. Padlet is an online bulletin board. In Padlet, students and teachers can post notes, questions, pictures, videos, share links, do brainstorming, collaborate, display information, present information, and do reflections about different lesson plans that the teacher present in his class. First, you need to go to Google and then you will Google the word Padlet. You will sign up as a teacher and after you sign up, you will be able to log in and create three Padlets for free. If you would like to create more Padlets, you can subscribe for a monthly or a yearly pay. In the Padlet dashboard, you will see the Padlet that you already created or you can create a new one. To create a new one, you click Make a Padlet. It will give you different styles and you will choose one according to the lesson that you are planning for your students. For now, I will select the one that is called Wall. It already came with a title, but we will change it. Okay, so. This is the title, so we can change it for my library Padlet. You can describe. It also has a spelling correction here. Okay. You can choose an icon. If there is one for uh, the topic that you selected. Now you choose this one. Okay. This is the link that I will share with my students for the Padlet. I can change the wallpaper. Let's see pictures. I can also add my own pictures if I don't like the ones that I select. Color scheme and the font. You can choose the font that you like. Let's see this one. Here is which post will go first. Okay. So if it's a new post, that will be go first in this wall. You can allow viewers to comment or not to the post. For now, I will say no. I am only asking students to share, but I could go for that too. And reactions. When the readers will see the post, they can say if they like it by clicking here. They can vote. They can give stars or give a numeric score to the post. For now, I will only put like. It could require a moderator to approve the post, but I don't have time for that, so I will leave it no. Um, profanity. Yes, I will filter profanity if it's, for example, high school students, and you know how they behave. So you can say start posting to post, here in the Padlet, you just click the plus. I will ask my students first to put their name. Okay, I will put Carmen through us because uh, I'm sharing this link and I'm not asking for uh, email addresses. So I will tell them you have to share your name first as a title. And here they can write about their favorite book. Okay. And also they can say why. So you see, we can upload files, we can link to websites, we can Google image, audios or GIFs, we can take photos, we can capture videos from the camera in the computer, we can record our voice, okay, we can record our screen, we can draw, we can add the place where we are right now, okay, and we can link to other padlets if I'm a teacher. So it gives you all these options when you do a post in this Padlet. It's really good. I can share. Here I can invite members. I usually don't do it. I just go here where it says privacy. Privacy means it will be hidden for the public. Okay, and nobody can see it if they search for that. You can add a password, protect it. You can keep it as a secret. Okay. So you will choose the 
people you want to share with and then you can make it public okay you can choose which one is better for you i would make it public right now okay what permissions you give them just read the post so you're posting information and you want just your students to read it they can add posts so we say can write or they can add and delete padlets not only theirs only also from their classmates so i will say can write only the right change the pri privacy to public and they can write i can get the link to this clipboard or i can also get a qr it says that you can share also in google classroom when i have my padlet and before i delete it because i can only have three padlets i always export as a image or a pdf so i can have a file that i can just come back later to see how it is and i can reduce my padlet if i already export and save my file if i go back to my dashboard by clicking padlet here i can go to these three ones and i can archive or delete a padlet that's usually what i do okay so if i go back here to my padlet and i want to keep the padlet for my other classes i just already export a pdf a picture and i clear and delete the post you need to enter the code to delete it okay and it will delete it for you so you can use it again with another class or another in another semester the same padlet and that's it thank you for watching